What's up everybody, I'm Tim from Bingham Mechanic Services. Today I want to talk about how you destroy your two-cycle equipment. First, let's discuss the most important piece of information about your two-cycle equipment. The oil is mixed into the gas and not added to the crankcase separately. Now, what does this mean for you? This means the cylinder only gets oil when the cylinder gets gas. It means it's one of the most important things you must pay attention to on your equipment. We have all had those times we grab a chainsaw, trimmer, or blower, we prime it and pull and pull, and it doesn't even attempt to start. Most people prime it more and pull and pull on it until they get irritated and give up. What you may not know is you might have just destroyed your equipment. What I recommend to my customers is you follow the equipment directions on how to start it. If it doesn't start within five pulls, stop. Remove the spark plug and see if it's wet. If the spark plug is dry, the cylinder is not getting fuel. With the oil mixed into the gas, that means it's not getting oil either. If it's not getting oil and you continue to pull and pull, this will cause damage to the piston, rings, and the cylinder. This damage is called adhesive wear and it occurs when the metal of the piston and rings rub back and forth against the cylinder without proper lubrication. The photo on the screen is exactly that. It's a photo taken through the hole where the muffler attaches to the engine. It's taken of a chainsaw cylinder while the customer pulled and pulled trying to start it. You can see the striations. This is an extreme case, but even just a few of these striations ruins the equipment. Replacing a piston, rings, and cylinder on two-cycle equipment will in many cases cost more than the equipment by the time you pay parts and labor. So please avoid this and save yourself the headache and the money. If the unit isn't starting within five pulls, check the plug. If the bottom of the spark plug isn't wet, you should assume it isn't getting any fuel or oil and have the unit serviced by a knowledgeable technician. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope it saves you some money and some headache. If you liked the video, please like it and subscribe. I also hope you'll share this video, because the more people learn about their equipment, the better they can use it and take care of it. 